Microsoft Azure Fundamentals or EZ900 is just the right course for you if you are a beginner to the cloud world. The best part is that you don't need to have any prior knowledge on cloud to get started with this fundamental course. In fact, this could be your very first stepping stone and entry to the cloud world. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. Today we are starting a full length course on Azure Fundamentals for beginners. This will be a multi-part series focusing on Microsoft Azure Fundamentals and friends there has been a huge demand for this course from our viewers across various social media platforms and here we start this fundamental series to onboard everyone on cloud technologies. First, let's understand a little bit more about this course. We will begin this course with understanding the basic cloud jargon and terms that will provide you with initial awareness about the cloud, how it works and prepare you for the subsequent course. These are some of the foundational terms that everyone must know regardless of the cloud provider. Most fundamental concepts are very similar throughout the cloud providers be it Microsoft Azure, Google GCP, Amazon AWS, IBM Cloud or any other cloud for that matter. Some of the terms that we are going to cover are now flashing on your screen. And friends, as the course progress, our learning focus will shift to Microsoft Azure. We will understand all the cloud concepts that will kickstart your career journey on Microsoft Azure. Now you may wonder if this course is only for the people who want to prepare for AZ900 certification. Well, the answer is no. This fundamental course is designed for anyone who wants to start understanding Microsoft Azure Cloud. You could be just a student working on some personal project, a school project, college project or just a hobby website and you just want to reap the power of Microsoft Azure. Similarly, you could be a manager who is managing a team or a business analyst who talks to the customer for the future solution or you could even be a housemaker or someone who wants to start a small business by setting up an online presence in terms of a website or a blog. Friends, cloud is for everyone and everyone is invited. Friends, this course is completely in sync with Microsoft's syllabus on AZ900, including the changes done by Microsoft on 5th of May 2022. I will give you more details on how this course is designed and structured in just a little while so that you can make the best out of this course. As I already mentioned, this course is for everyone who wants to start understanding and working of Azure Cloud. There are absolutely no prerequisites. You don't need to have any prior cloud knowledge. In fact, you don't even need to be from the IT background to get started with this course. As this is a fundamental course, my focus would be to teach you basic cloud jargon, cloud concept, cloud terms and prepare you as a cloud professional. And of course, during this journey, you will also get ready to take your first cloud certification, which is AZ900. Now, before starting this course, let's first understand how this course is designed and structured. So this is Microsoft official website where you will find each and every information on AZ900 or also known as Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. And here you can read that Azure Fundamental exam is an opportunity to prove your knowledge on cloud concepts, Azure services, Azure workloads, security and privacy in Azure as well as Azure pricing and support. Also note that Microsoft says that candidates should be familiar with general technology concepts, including the concepts of networking, storage, compute, application support and application development. And that's exactly why I will start this course with the cloud jargon and cloud terms. As you scroll a little bit more, you will read that English version of this exam was updated on May 5th, 2022. And friends, I will cover all these changes in the subsequent part of this course. Then as you scroll down, you will also see information on how to schedule the exam using Pearson VUE or how to schedule the exam using CertiPort. Besides scheduling, there is also the information given on what is the price of this certification exam. So here you can note the price of the exam is 99 USD. Of course, the price is based on the country or the region in which the exam is proctored. 
And friends, in case you are looking for any help on how to schedule the exam using Pearson BUE option, then you must watch this video now flashing on your screen. In this video, you will be taken through step by step process on how you can schedule Microsoft exam using Pearson BUE option. And not only that, there is one more very interesting and important video that will tell you how you can get free Microsoft Azure voucher and get your own AZ900 certificate without incurring any cost. Now let's check out what are the skills measured or you can also say what is the syllabus for this exam. For that, just scroll a little bit more and then you will reach to a section which says skills measured. And here you can see the skills measured are divided into three broad categories. The first one is describe cloud concept, which is 25 to 30%. Then we have described Azure architecture and services, which is 35 to 40%. And then we have described Azure management and governance, which is 30 to 35%. The best way to get all these details in a PDF format is this, where you have to click on a link, which is called download the AZ900 study guide. So if you will click on this link, you will reach to a PDF that will give you all the information on AZ900. You will scroll down a little, you will get what is the purpose of this document, how you can renew the certification about the exam is also given here. And then you will reach to a details section where you can see all the sections and subsections of skills measured. And just as I showed, there are three broad categories for this exam. And each of this category is divided further into subsections like define cloud computing, describe the shared responsibility model, define cloud models, including public, private and hybrid and many more. And similarly, you can understand the subsection of each broad category. Now, friends, as I mentioned earlier, our course is one to one sync with Microsoft. So what I have done is to create a number list, which is exactly in sync with this Microsoft bulleted list. So let me fetch out that document for you. Now here on the right hand side of your screen, you can see the numbered list, which is one to one mapped with Microsoft list in bullet points. So here in this word file, each section and subsection is numbered fully synced with Microsoft course list. So just to give you a comparison between two documents, the first one in Microsoft document is described cloud concept. And that's exactly the same in our list as well. And then we have described cloud concept with subsections given in Microsoft list and same is replicated in our document as well. The only difference is that Microsoft is using bullet points. However, we are using numbered list. And this is very important because we will follow this numbering in the subsequent parts of this fundamental series so that it is easy to keep a track and also create cross references between topics. Additionally, it will also help you to keep a track of the progress of your learning. Friends, you can freely download this numbered list that we have created for you. The link is shared in the description box. So friends, this course is going to be fully packed with tons of Azure cloud concepts, tips and tricks and cherry on the cake that I am also preparing a cheat sheet which you can use as a reference before going for the certification exam. In fact, you can also use this cheat sheet while working day to day on Azure cloud. So today it was just the introduction part and a quick sneak peek to let you know what's coming in the subsequent parts. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.